I'm ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer, and I'm taking you inside the numbers on this year's flu season, called the worst in 25 years by the CDC. We are definitely at the point where you or someone you know was recently hit with the flu. It's all over the place, but interestingly enough, not as bad in Arizona as you might expect. The CDC's flu surveillance system has 30 states designated in the very high category of spread for influenza. In fact, if you travel east to the coast on Interstate 10 or 40, Every state except Oklahoma and Mississippi are classified as having very high spread. Nearly every state in New England as well. It's the western states that are faring better here, Arizona included. We are designated in the high category. Now, here are the trends for all of the respiratory illnesses this year in Arizona. Mind you, these are mostly hospitalizations, so there are many, many more cases that are less serious. So COVID-19 cases are trending down. 842 cases in September only 465 in the third week of December. Uh, RSV cases were in the double digits until the first week of December. They have risen slightly since then. And finally, influenza, very low case numbers until about Thanksgiving when they went from 450 to 2300, a five fold increase. But this is only a third of the number of flu cases we had the same week last year. In fact, as of right now, flu cases are under the five year average every week, although that will likely change when the data is updated next week. So about a third of flu cases are happening in kids age five to 17. Another third are in cases in more vulnerable populations, Arizonans under the age of five and those over the age of 65. One of the best ways to lower your risk of catching the flu is a seasonal flu shot. This season, 130 million doses have been given to those who opt in, about 13 million fewer than the same week last year, and 40 million fewer than before the pandemic. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.